From capturing enormous ancient sharks to reeling in the most massive marlins ever, here are 13 of the biggest moments in fishing history. Number 13. First fishing on the tube. And by tube, we mean TV, not especially YouTube. The year 1967 presented a huge moment in the history of competitive fishing, because that's when a fishing competition was televised for the first time ever. The Bassmaster Classic was held in Beaver Lake, Arkansas, and it promoted ethical angling and conservation, among other values. Today, the Bassmaster Classic and Bassmasters reels in a lot of viewers on ESPN, among other media platforms. And yes, that does include YouTube. Number 12. For the Halibut An angler in Norway took an hour and a half to reel in a 9-foot, 2.7-metre Atlantic halibut, one that was heavier than a wild gorilla. Weighing over 500 pounds, the fish was too massive to haul aboard his small boat. Three friends helped Marco Liebenau tie a rope to the animal's tail and tow it back to the shore, where a crane was needed to hoist it quayside. At a weight of 513 pounds or 233 kilograms, it smashed the previous record for the biggest halibut fish caught using rod and line, as recognized by the IGFA, International Game Fish Association. Did you know that these fish are among the world's largest bony fish, reaching lengths of some 15 feet or 4.6 meters and weighing up to 700 pounds, 318 kilograms? Number 11. A bear of a fish. On average, grizzly bears can weigh 600 pounds, 272 kilograms or more, depending on the region in which they're found. Now, these animals are not native to Thailand, but there was a fish caught in the northern part of the country that weighed as much as a grizzly bear. This big critter is known as the Mekong giant catfish, and it was giant indeed, weighing 646 pounds, 293 kilograms, and measuring almost 9 feet long, 2.7 meters. This specimen was the largest catch ever recorded in Thailand, and is recognized as one of the largest freshwater fish ever caught. Number 10. Ginormous Grouper This is believed to be the largest bottom fish ever caught from a kayak. A grouper that weighed more than 500 pounds, 227 kilograms. The huge fish was caught off the Florida coast in 2015, but didn't give up without a fight, as it snapped the fisherman's rod in half. But that fisherman, John Black, still managed to lead the animal to shore, where it was measured at 83 inches long, 211 centimetres, with a 73-inch girth, that's just under 200 centimetres. And its weight was estimated at 552 pounds, 237 kilograms. After its dimensions were taken, the grouper was required by law to be released, because the species is protected. And here's a fun fact, the world record for a grouper caught by hook and line is a specimen that weighed 680 pounds, that's over 300 kilograms. It was caught in 1961 in Fernandia Beach, which also happens to be off the Florida coast. Maybe it's something in the water there. Number 9. White Out did you know that the largest white sturgeon ever officially documented was caught in 1983 and weighed an impressive 468 pounds, 212 kilograms? It measured 9 feet long, 2.7 meters. An angler named Joey Pilotta caught it near the San Francisco Bay, but in 2012, a much larger white sturgeon was captured in British Columbia's Fraser River. That specimen weighed an estimated 1,100 pounds, that's nearly 500 kilograms, and measured some 12 feet long, 3.7 meters. It's not only thought to be the largest freshwater fish ever caught in North America, but possibly the oldest as well. But here's the thing, even though it's much bigger, this specimen can never be verified as the largest white sturgeon ever caught. Conservation laws required that it be released alive, so its size could never be officially documented. Number 8. Super Strong Swordfish In 1953, Lou Marin caught a huge swordfish off the coast of Chile. At 1,182 pounds, 536 kilograms, and nearly 15 feet long, close to 5 meters, it holds the record for the largest swordfish ever caught. In fact, no catch has ever come close to matching this record even after 60 years, let alone breaking it. 
And it's interesting to note that Marin's wife, Ehenia, also holds several records as recognised by the IGFA. That includes a 772 pound, 327 kilogram swordfish she caught in 1954. That specimen ranks as the largest such fish ever reeled in by a female. Number 7. An officially unofficial fish. In 2014, a fisherman named Joel Abrahamson captured a Greenland shark off the coast of Norway. And he did it from a kayak. Abrahamson said he prepared for the battle by going to a local lake and reeling in concrete blocks that weighed 60 pounds each. The training paid off, since he struggled with the big fish for more than 90 minutes. Finally, the beast was secured into a harness attached to the kayak. Researchers estimated the shark to be around 200 years old, and it measured more than 13 feet long, that's over 400 centimetres, with a weight estimated to exceed 1,200 pounds or 544 kilograms. Those numbers smashed the previous record, but Abrahamson's catch was not recorded on a certified scale, because that procedure might have killed the shark. Instead, the crew released the ancient animal back into its freezing habitat, so this one is regarded as an unofficial world record. Number 6. Caught off the Kona Coast While angler Guy Kitakoa was fishing off the coast of Kona, Hawaii in 2015, he caught a giant blue marlin that weighed an astonishing 1,368 pounds, that's over 600 kilograms. The fisherman said it took around 90 minutes to finally bring the marlin to bay and later it took seven of his crewmates to carry the fish from the skiff to the larger yacht. The beast measured at 12 feet long, 3.7 metres, with a girth of 84 inches or 213 centimetres. Because the marlin was so big, workers had to use a pickup truck to transport the critter away from the docks, and eyewitnesses say it more than filled up the flatbed. Local sources indicated it was the second largest blue marlin caught in the area in more than 20 years. Number 5. Six minutes too late. In 2005, fishermen at Martha's Vineyard captured a huge tiger shark as they took part in a fishing competition. Known as the Monster Shark Tournament, the event was sponsored by the Boston Big Game Fishing Club. The idea was to bag the biggest sharks within a certain amount of time. The crew that captured the tiger shark seemed like a sure bet to win the contest. The animal they caught weighed nearly 2,000 pounds, that's 540 kilograms, and measured some 15 feet long, 4.6 meters. But that potentially winning size worked against the fishermen. The men struggled for more than two hours to bring the monster shark aboard their boat. Then they had to sail some 65 miles to the weigh-in station near Nantucket Pier, all of which resulted in the crew arriving too late to have the shark officially weighed. How late were they? All of six minutes. It turned out the fisherman's biggest obstacle wasn't just beating the shark, it was beating the clock. Number 4. Greater Greenland Shark Remember a few segments back when we told you about the 200-year-old Greenland shark that went around 1,200 pounds? Well, in 1987, another one of these creatures was caught off the coast of Norway by a fisherman named Terje Norvet. That monster weighed more than 1,700 pounds, 771 kilograms. The creature appeared so massive after it was caught and hanged upside down that it's hard to believe it was lured by a tiny herring. Did you know that it ranks as the largest Greenland shark ever caught? Number 3. Biggest Black Marlin The Black Marlin is not only one of the largest marlins out there, it's also one of the world's largest bony fish overall. So maybe it shouldn't come as such a huge surprise that a member of this species caught off Cabo Blanco, Peru, weighed an amazing 1,560 pounds, that's over 700 kilograms, and measured more than 14 and a half feet long, 4.42 meters. According to eyewitness accounts, the huge billfish jumped from the water almost 50 times before it surrendered. An angler by the name of Alfred Glassell Jr. set the record in 1953. Ironically, a year earlier, Glassell set a record with a black marlin that weighed over 1,000 pounds, nearly 500 kilograms, only to see that record broken mere days after his achievement. But with a marlin that weighed more than 1,500 pounds, the fisherman more than made up for that. 
with a record that stood for more than six decades. And if you're a fan of old movies, this might interest you. The struggle between Mann and Marlin has a cinematic connection. Footage of the event was deemed so epic that some of it was used in the 1958 film version of Hemingway's The Old Man and the Sea. Number 2. Biggest of the Blue Fins Chances are that you've heard of this story before, and that's because it's become one of the most legendary catches in fishing history. Ken Fraser caught the biggest bluefin tuna, as recognised by the IGFA in 1979. Using a mackerelless bait, he brought in the giant fish off the coast of Alds Cove in Nova Scotia. The catch weighed 1,496 pounds, or 679 kilograms, and sources indicate the tuna was the second largest fish officially documented that was ever caught using a rod and reel. Quite an accomplishment when you consider that these huge bluefins can swim at speeds in excess of 40 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour. A lot of experts call this one the catch of a lifetime, and since the record has stood for nearly four decades, that would seem to be the case. Number 1. The one that didn't get away According to our research, the largest fish ever caught was a huge great white shark that tipped the scales at 2,664 pounds. That's 1.2 thousand kilograms. It almost sounds like a real-life Jaws. Now the caveat is that it's the biggest fish that was approved as a world record by the International Game Fish Association IGFA. The massive beast was captured off of Sejuna, Australia in 1959 by a fella named Alfred Dean. He claims it took around an hour to boat the Great White, using a 59 kilogram or 130 pound line. Needless to say, that was quite a catch. But while this sort of activity was allowed back in Mr. Dean's day, now is not the case. Today, Great White Sharks are considered to be an endangered species and must be released if they're caught. That said, illegal hunting activities are known to still persist in various parts of the world. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click that bell for notifications when we next upload.